what we're going to do today is on this grid we're going to start with a plane here and then we're going to put two down here and we're going to have one there and the nose of this one is at 130 the other one's at 110 up on the very top it's going to be 40 and these two planes we don't need for today now this one is simply going to be plane one this is going to be two and this is going to be three then in red here's the order in which we want the planes to show up and we'll put those underneath we want one well actually that's not one this is going to be one we're going to make this one two and then this one is going to stay at three the black is the name the initial name the red is going to be the order in which they're going to be in once they pass this area here LGR here are the initial speeds the initial speeds are going to be this. This is going to be 360. This one is going to be 360. And this one is going to be 480. Again, we need this one to be first once they get beyond this point. We need this one to be third. This has got to be in between those two. What would have to happen in order to make that occur? So let's figure out the point at which we're going to have them lined up. And it's going to be out in this area. It's got to be beyond LGR. So what point are we going to make the reference point? Is it LGR? Is it NPT? Is it CMH? We could do LGR. If we use LGR, what route does plane number one have to take? <coughs> well, if we're using this as our reference point, CMH, then plane, if plane number one goes over the top of that and comes out in front of it, how are we going to measure it? it would have to go to XMA and then to CMH if we were going to use CMH as that point. Alright, well let's see what's happening with plane number one. And we have some notebook paper down here at the bottom. Plane number one has a speed of 480 miles per hour. So that would be the rate. But what is the distance? for plane number one from where it's at now to CMH. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it has a distance of 60. But we don't know the time. That's what we're trying to find now. So down here we'll go for plane number one. And plane number one has a distance of 60, a speed of 480, in a time that we don't know. 60 over 480 equals T. You should know that 6 goes into 48 8 times. So what we really end up with is 1 over 8 as a fraction. That's 1 eighth of an hour. 1 eighth of an hour. 1 divided by 8. What do we multiply it by to put it into minutes? 60. Okay, so if we multiply point one two five by 60, we come up with how many minutes? Seven and a half, seven and a half minutes. So plane number one is going to take seven and a half minutes to get to CMH. All right, let's keep that where it's at, and then we'll go to plane number two. Plane number two has a speed of 360. What is its distance from where it's at now to CMH? One, two, three, four, five. So it would be 50 for the distance, and we don't know the time. So we'll come down here for plane number two. And for plane number two, we're going to do 
a distance of 50 equals 360 T. You solve that by dividing 50 by 360. 50 divided by 360 and multiply by 60 to convert to minutes. So that's 8.3 repeating minutes. Okay, so we have 7.5 minutes for the first plane and then 8 and a third minutes for the second plane. But look at the order that they have to show up in. You have this one has got to be number one. This has to be the first plane out there. But it's getting to CMH at eight and, eight and a third minutes. This one's getting there at seven and a half minutes. So what's going to have to happen just between these two planes? Do we have to slow one down and speed the other one up? Which one do we, would we have to speed up? We would have to speed up number two. What would we speed it up to? Do you you have to have that list of speeds that we had yesterday? We could raise the second one to 520. If we raise the second one to 520, then that would give us still a distance of 50 and then a speed of 520. So let's go down here to the second plane again. We'll do this one in red. Distance of 50, speed of 520. So let's solve that and see what we come up with. 50 divided by 520 and then multiply by 60. And it should come out to be 5.77 minutes. Does that put it ahead of the plane that is on the top now? Yes. Okay. On the flight simula simulator that I'll show you later on to give you a preview of it, you only have to have a one mile distance in between your planes. Yesterday we did a ten mile distance. Today it only has to be one mile. Alright, so so far that's going to put us with uh, seven and a half minutes for the top plane, plane one. Plane two would now be at 5.77 minutes. Now, what about plane three? Is, is there something that we have to do to plane three to get it to stay in the third position? So if this one gets to CMH first, this one should fall in behind it. And then this one should stay in the rear and trail in behind those. Alright, so our only command on this problem would be to do what? Increase plane number 2 to 520. That's it. So that would be the answer to the problem. Increase to 520 miles per hour. Now what if we increased this plane, plane number two, and this one was too close to it when it came down there at 480? What would we have to do then? Slow this one down. Yes, we would have to slow that one down. 